this is basically about uh, third world problems and uh, it's called the World Problems Initiative. So sharks, I ask you, did you guys have any like complications this morning getting here today? Anything like got on your nerves, pissed you off? Traffic. Yeah. Traffic. Probably just traffic as well. Traffic. Just getting out in the morning. Oh, yeah, that was late. Yeah. Too many people in line and stuff. <laughs> yeah. We spoke, we spoke first, first world problems. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's basically my topic is going to be about. So, um, I think that people uh, in America, countries that uh, have like great opportunities, <coughs> great things, and stuff like that, they don't really see what goes on in other countries. And, like, they're not really aware of the fact that there's poverty rates that are really low. And countries that are just, you know. And so my project or, like, program is basically about spreading awareness. Like, people getting to know what's really going on. And I think that the best way of doing that is, you know, like, having a program. You see, like, social media and stuff like that. People, like, spreading awareness. You got, like... Instagram models promoting fashion over stuff like that. How about if they like promoted something that like actually helped so <coughs> they could educate educate the people that they follow and stuff like that. So I think that if there was like a program that they could give off give off information, you know, like on a, I don't really know how to do that off. But like I think there should be a program that like not only is on social media but like around the world. Like, Hit television, like programs and stuff like that. There's like National Geographic, they like show like wildlife problems, animals that are ex like going extinct or endangered. What if they had a program that shows like <coughs> what's going on in third world countries, poverty, like homeless people, and stuff like that? What if there's people going around the world videotaping this stuff and showing, up, showing it off to people on national television instead of like problems like Trump and who he's having an affair with. What if they were showing things that actually mattered and things that should be like brought up, problems that should be brought up. And so there on my website there will be like a donation box where like you click on it, you make a donation and your contributions will like go to these countries or like some sort of program like mine that'll help help empty stomachs, poverty, things like that, get them food, shelters, basically like missionary trips, but with more money. And yeah, that's it. And that's like my last one. I didn't really get a shark's question. <laughs> Yeah, obviously this is a very big issue, um, but I would, you know, my kind of question here is what would make what you're doing different than things that already do exist? Because I, you know, back when I watched TV and had cable, there would be those commercials, you know, showing third world countries and asking you to donate and sponsor, you know, a child or a family. And I know on Twitter and Facebook or whatever, you'll see viral videos of you know, people in third world countries where they read off, you know, first word problems and they're sitting there, you know, amongst, you know, their huts and their villages being like, when your charger won't reach your bed, and like, you're like, oh shoot, like, you know, it gives you that kind of clarification on that. So I feel like there's things that kind of already doing this, yeah. so what would make what you're doing different than those? Um, mine is basically like replacing, not replacing, but like making it the problem because there's like problems that like, you open up the TV and they're talking about like things that, I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but like our president, who he's having an affair with, I don't think that really matters. I don't think people at home want to watch that or whatever. And like giving off, like replacing that with my program, seeing that, that would like pique people more in, like pique their interest more, and like probably help make a bigger cause. Because you can't really do anything with that information. Mm -hmm. like, so, with you saying that, that makes me think your problem is not, or your program, your idea, I, I don't necessarily think you know exactly what direction you want to go in, but so for this project, I don't necessarily think it's about third world problems, I think it's about our first world problems right here at home. 
saying that what we see in the media mm -hmm. isn't what we should be seeing. So how can we correct that? We, we talk about that a lot at, for me in school because, you know, we go on our Instagram every day and we see people posting, again, like Fashion Nova or like this, like the Fit TVs or things like that. How do we make the problems that are happening outside of our home, outside of our comfort zone, how do we make that relevant in our lives today? I think that's, that's really what you're looking for um, rather than continuing to talk about the third world problems, I think it's, it's a personal <coughs> so, um, Maybe what I, I mean, I think that again, kind of like the NFL one, that, that is such a huge topic to where it's like, I mean, you can't just like call up CNN and say, hey, listen, I don't like what you're posting. Like, let's make a change. Um, talk, talk to our local news and I mean, Larry here, he does this. If you follow him on Twitter, like he talks about the problems that are going on in our community. Um, I think that finding again, kind of like with these problems, because I've experienced this and I've watched this for the past four years, start at home and it's like you work your way up. You've got to build your own clout here before you can get anywhere else. So I think that you have a great idea and it's extremely relevant, but you need to figure out in your heart how you are going to do this. I think you summed up very well in just a few minutes what's wrong with the news business. Mm -hmm. All right? But here's the problem. Uh, news has become more entertaining during the period of time I have been involved with, going all the way back to the early 70s to now. I think what, rather than replacing this, because they're doing this for ratings, people mm -hmm. are watching this, whether we like it or not, and you and I probably don't like that. What I think you need to do is provide an alternative to what else is out there, and, uh, and I think that would be a noble uh, thing to do. Uh, I think that if you, could, for instance, if you go to CNN International or some of these BBC programs you get on cable or online, you'll see a different view of the world than if you're looking at Fox News or MSNBC or some other source. So and you're right; they think they really kind of fall all over themselves with certain political issues that may or may not be of interest to a lot of the rest of us. So I think you're, you're on to something here, but uh, number one, kind of find the new services that are doing this. There are some out there doing it. Uh, and Fusion is what I see on, uh, on cable, and they do a pretty good job of talking about these issues. Vice News and HBO, they, they actually do cover these issues you're talking about. So uh, look at what's out there that is sort of in line with what you say. It may not be the, the big cultural icons we know, but maybe, you know, point, hey, maybe I'd watch CNN International if you can get it. Look at the BBC program over here. But your, your, your points are extremely low level. But I would agree that it's, it's more of a first world problem. Um, and and I, I think that uh, if Americans were more understanding about what goes on in the rest of the world, my daughter's gone on mission trips and told me stories. I never had the honor of going out overseas like that. But I think uh, tapping people who have, maybe in this school, let them tell the story of what it's like in the third world. We probably can't. I used to live uh, in Seattle. That's where okay. my family Oh, okay. Is. I'm done. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Um, man, the question you asked us was great. It drew us in. Expound on it more. Um, do a comparison of the problems that we had coming here this morning with problems where you where you originally from. Um, <clears throat> PowerPoint, extremely well done. You got to do sets and reps speaking. Sets and reps, sets and reps, sets and reps practice. But I really want to make a short point about what Danielle and Larry said. All of media now is about self-promotion and manipulation. We want to promote or manipulate you into an opinion or a solution we've already chosen for you. And that makes us apathetic and insensitive as a society. Make that your objective. Right? Because when people know the truth, it's super powerful and they'll make a difference with it. So take self-promotion and manipulation from media and make it more service driven. How can people serve? How can I educate people and inform them so they can choose opportunities to serve and make a difference? Because that's what's in your heart. Capture another people's great job. Yeah. So, I do have one more point to say. When you were talking about how you don't think that people are realizing what is happening in other countries, 
put a visual because I don't feel like that there was, I, I already don't really remember, but I don't feel like that there was pictures of what it's like to live in a third world country or even post the videos of sense, you know, where it's like their trip to get to school in the morning compared to our trip to get to school in the morning. Just to be like, you know, how you have to get fresh water compared to us turning on the tap to be able to brush our teeth. Things like that to be able to impress on an entire classroom, it's not what you think over there. And it's like for the people who haven't had the opportunity <coughs> to go to a third world country or do a mission trip or anything like that, um, exposing them. Because that's what you're talking about, is you're talking about bringing exposure. So bring that to your presentation. I will you know, you should bring up the fact that I lived in another country for a while. Yes. Probably yeah. give me more credibility <coughs> to say, I know what this is about. I know what I'm talking about. I li actually mm -hmm. lived in a, at another country. I know what it's like. That would have kind of helped us through, through it, would have drawn us in and given you a little more credibility. But yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Here. Yeah, like in your intro slide and say, this is, this is who I am. Because whenever you're giving some kind of presentation, you have to create an identity for yourself. No matter what the topic is, it just advances why you are the expert and why this is your passion project. Again, like you said, we just throw the word passion around so much, but this is something where it has to hit close to home for you to be able to sell it to an audience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Great job. Thank you. Yeah.